Well, we're well into the assembly now. I've just, uh, these are the plates or angle irons, I should say, that'll anchor the thing to its base. Uh, the spring pins I was talking about earlier. This places everything in relation. This, the distance of this, center of this, to the bottom of that, it's all exact as can be within a couple of thou. So that just makes the lining up a little bit easier and uh, hopefully makes the job go better. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I've got the thing partially assembled now. Um, I ended up with more slack in the chains than I would have liked, but uh, I had made them to, I can't remember, 63 mil between um, centre to centre, and I, I put them together with the chain on. Uh, I didn't leave enough clear. I should have left about a mil, maybe, of uh, made it 62 mil between centres and it fitted the chain better. So in the end, uh, it's, it sort of went round, then it got hard, and uh, so I had to bung an extra half link in the thing, and it's sloppy. But it turns, it works all right, so that's the main thing. This top one spins okay. I've just got to make the uh, adjuster bolts for this, drill that, put the adjuster bolts. I've already got the brackets made up with the bit on there that goes down. Um, cut the base, which is a piece of channel, 4 by 50, um, 100 by 50 channel. 630 long, drill it for those two, which are 40 mil centers. Bolt the thing up, we're ready. Oh, make the handle, of course, and we're ready to go. Thank you. Right, I'm back again. I wasn't happy with the chain being slack like that, so what I did, I had just a little tiny tight spot, so I took it off. You can just see the file marks there, where I cleaned up each each tooth, and now I can just give it a, come around here. There you go, it's spinning beautifully now. I've got a complete mesh right the way around the thing, which is what I wanted. So I'm really happy with that. Next step, um, I'm just going to mark, mark these holes on the channel, drill them and bolt them. And put the top bit in, and we're well on the way. Okay, it's all assembled now. Um, of course, I'm missing a couple of bolt nuts off the bolts. So I took them off, so down the other end of making do with the vice grip temporarily. Um, this here, I just drilled it out and... Half an hour with the file, I made a square to fit on that. Got a bit of scrap in the thing, and I'll just give it a little bit of a demo of how it came out. It came out quite well, actually. And I'll get, get it right out if I can. There you go. And here's a bit of scrap. It rolled it quite nicely. Stripped really, virtually no resistance whatsoever. I was quite pleased with the um, handle. I've left the handle very quite long, as you can see down there. Um, I've no idea how long I need it, but it, um, I'll work that out eventually and cut it off and put a proper handle on the thing. In the meantime, that does it nicely. Thanks for watching.